Hello and welcome back to Steve Holmes Porn on YouTube. I get various questions on YouTube, some of them I think are very interesting, so let me read them to you. Um, okay, let's start here. First of all, the first one is not a question, it's a request. It says, do an interview with April O'Neil. So, that's not how my YouTube channel works. Uh, I do interviews whenever I have the chance. I don't know in, uh, April O'Neil, I don't know if I ever meet her. If I do, and if there is a chance, I will do an interview, but I'm not a reporter who goes out and uh, makes appointment and this and that so uh, I don't make any money with this YouTube uh, channel and I don't like to spend any money the only thing I spend is time time uh, which I use to answer your questions uh, if I have the chance so requests like this don't work because it's not the way I, I shoot my site um, then here is a question from Virginia Conton do women like circumcised penises or uncircumcised penises more um, since I'm not a woman I cannot answer these questions on their behalf and I'm pretty sure that different women have different preferences uh, I know for a fact in porn, where we do a lot of anal scenes, uh, that many girls prefer uncircumcised dicks because they make the penetration smoother. So, especially for anal scenes, uh, uh, a lot of girls prefer that, as, at least in porn. So, then... Steve Holmes is joining little husbands on Twitter. Yes, I know he is. I don't know his Twitter handle. You have to look that up. Girls, there's uh, Google and other search engines. His name is Small Hands. His stage name is Small Hands. Look it up. I'm sure you'll find him. Um, and then I have another question. Steve, will you be doing any f future movies in Germany or in German language? Uh, Brian M. asked that. I don't know. Uh, it's not me who decide that, it's uh, production companies, uh, if they book me uh, I, in, for a German production, I'm happy to fly there. Unfortunately, uh, there is not many German productions left with a decent budget. Uh, when I started shooting porn in uh, 96, November 96 was an amateur, so I really started doing it in 97. Um, there was a lot of big German porn companies and they were able to shoot with decent budgets. They hired uh, performers, uh, performers from around the world, uh, not only Germans. And uh, nowadays, I don't know any of these companies still shooting and uh, usually the ones who are still shooting are not willing or in most cases not able to pay my rate so but if somebody comes to me and is willing to pay my rate for a German production I'm happy to use my own language it's much easier than speaking English for me and then there is another question which wasn't be posted on the YouTube page but I get it almost daily and sometimes uh, multiple times daily on Twitter where I have much more followers than I have subscribers on uh, YouTube and uh, a lot of people also contact me on Facebook uh, with the same request from all over the world literally from India Pakistan all over Europe Russia America South America North America all over the world. Uh, I've never got a request from China, as far as I know, but... Um, uh, so, and they all say, Hey, Steve, uh, I want to be a porn star. 
um, uh, please help me. And uh, I never answered to that because uh, it would cost me so much time to answer all these requests. It's really on a daily basis. Um, so I want to say something general about it. And when I talk about that, it's men, very few women. For women, it's easy. I just uh, contact an agency. There is plenty, depending where you live. I mean, of course, I don't know any agency in India or other regions where, where I get requests. But uh, if you want to do porn, you have to go anyway where porn is shot. This is mainly Los Angeles. Or if you're European, then it's uh, mainly in Prague and Budapest. That's where most productions happen. Uh, if you're a woman, just contact uh, an agency and if you're not totally ugly or a total bitch, you, got, you will find work because uh, porn productions are always looking for new women. Uh, it's totally different with men. Most pro porn producers and production companies are complaining that there is no new man, they have to shoot, uh, shoot with the uh, same guys year over year over year, they want new faces, but when it comes uh, to test new guys, everybody is reluctant, nobody wants to shoot new guys, because everybody had bad experiences with new guys. A lot of men who want to shoot porn don't understand that it is a totally different situation to perform on set under the direction of somebody with a lot of people involved around you, a lot of distraction around. Uh, that is totally different than making love uh, at home or in a club or somewhere. Um, so actually most guys who try doing porn fail and this failure cost the production company a lot of money so everybody is reluctant to try a new guy uh, that is why I cannot help you because I'm not going to suggest somebody who I don't know because if you fail on on a set and if I have suggested you they're gonna blame me um, the way People get into porn, men get into porn, is totally different. Everybody has a different story. My story, for instance, was I performed in an amateur video first, where it was not so important uh, if, I, if I function or not, because uh, uh, it was more the reality aspect. And if I would have failed, that wouldn't have ruined the, the movie. But since I didn't fail, people said, oh, yeah, look at him, he can do it. Uh, and then I got recommended, it was mouse by mouse, and uh, that's for a lot of people uh, who started like this. Uh, one of the most successful uh, performers ever is Manuel Ferrara, and he did only amateur movies for the first two or three years before he ever started uh, to do a professional movie for Rocco Sifredi. Um, and other people have different uh, stories. Uh, I have a friend of mine uh, from Germany. He was working in a um, vacation resort and he was fucking one of the guests there and it turned out that she is married to a porn producer and after they had sex she said, oh, you're a good fucker, you can, uh, you can make, uh, make money if you like, I can introduce you to my husband. And so everybody has a has a different story to tell uh, but if you contact me there is no way I'm mainly a performer I produce on rare occasions if I produce I only work with the top professional performers and because my productions are difficult um, if you want to try it uh, go and uh, try to, to do some amateur stuff. Do it at home with your girlfriend, with a little camera, you know, you can find cheap cameras everywhere and uh, post it on one of these sites. Uh, and once you have something to show, you can turn that to a porn company and they might uh, hire you from there.
so moving from amateur to pro I think is is a good way because professional companies they spend a lot of money on sets they have higher expensive locations they hire a huge team makeup artists uh, grip uh, camera people sound person uh, all everybody is there everybody needs to be paid and if the uh, male performer fails uh, they lose a lot of money and that's why they don't try new guys okay one more question I was asked here is um, uh, if I would write a book I because I have a lot of stories to tell and blah 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 uh, yeah, I was asked this question many, many, many times, but uh, actually it needs some talent to be a good writer, and I don't have that talent. Uh, it's easier for me to talk, it's easy for me to talk in front of a camera, so that's why I started this uh, YouTube page. So, no book unless a really good ghost writers approach me and uh, we can find a way that I just tell my stories to him or her and he or she turns out a great book. I personally am not a good writer. Enjoy the next uh, episodes. Uh, I don't know when I'll be able to uh, put up the next uh, YouTube videos because I will be very very busy until end of March or beginning of uh, April. I'm gonna shoot a lot and I'm gonna shoot a lot of BTS in this time uh, I don't know if I have the time to edit it uh, and I don't know if I have the option to upload it because I will be traveling uh, but there's a lot of footage being shot in the next uh, two three weeks and whenever I have the time to edit and upload you can uh, expect uh, some interesting behind the scenes See you later. 